Hey guys, it's Brian. We're back in the garage with the Frost by JL, and today we're going to be doing some maintenance on the Jeep. We're trying to get her ready for EJS 2022. We're going to Moab. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is replace a wheel hub unit bearing on our front axle. Our front driver's side one has been making a bunch of noise since our last wheeling trip, so we're going to go ahead and replace it. We did go ahead and pick up a new Mopar Authentic wheel hub here, and we did pick it up from Rock Auto. They were able to get it to us pretty quick and they did have some of the best prices. So if you guys go ahead and take a look, this is what the new wheel hub is going to look like. So this is what your axle attaches to and then what the weight of your vehicle rides on. So this is going to have our new studs for us. It's going to have a spot for our wheel speed sensor and then obviously the new bearing. So this is a pretty easy install. Let's go over some of the stuff you will need. Also, I want to go ahead and give you guys the part number. If you look right here, this is the Mopar part number right here at the bottom. So if you guys want to order this from Rock Auto, that's the number you'll need. All right, so let's go over what we need for this install. You're going to need a 22 millimeter to pull the brake assembly off. You're also going to need a 12.13 millimeter, and that's going to be the bolts for the actual hub assembly. And then you'll need a 10 millimeter for the dust shield. And then you're also going to need a T30 to get the brake caliper off. There's a little retaining bolt, just holds everything in place, so you'll need one of those. Also, you're going to need a very large socket for getting the axle nut off. Let's show you that one. Okay guys, this is going to be that large socket you need for the axle nut. It is going to be a 36 millimeter. This is a pretty heavy duty socket that not everybody's going to have, so I'll put a link down below for this. Let's go ahead and get it installed. So now we need to go ahead and pull this front tire off and then we can get after disassembling our brakes. Alright, here we go. Okay, now that we have the wheel off, we have to go ahead and get that nut loose on the axle. So we are going to take our 36 millimeter. We're going to have somebody jump up, hop on the brakes, and we'll just break that loose real quick. That'll make it a lot easier to get off. Now that we got that big axle nut loose, we're going to go ahead and pull the brakes off. You do need that T30 to pull the caliper. And then we're also going to need that 22 millimeter to pull the big bolts on the back of the brake bracket there. So let's go ahead and we'll get that off. Now that we got that all loose, we're going to go ahead and pull off the 21 millimeter bolts. It's going to be that top one there and then that bottom one there. That's what's holding this brake bracket on. We'll go ahead and pull those real quick and then we'll hang this up out of the way and then we can get to our hub here. Okay, now we went ahead and zip tied the caliper up out of the way there. We can go ahead and pull the disc off and we can get access to our hub there. Now that the brakes are out of the way, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull our wheel speed sensor. That's going to be a five millimeter Allen. You do want to be careful with these. These are pretty fragile. And then we're going to do three 10 millimeters to take that dust shield off. And then we can go ahead and do the bolts in the back of the hub and get this old one off. Now that that's loose, let's pull this shield off and then we can go ahead and pull that out. I am going to put a little Ziploc bag around it just so we don't damage the sensor. Alright, here we go. Alright, now that that sensor's out, we've got everything else unbolted except for the hub. We're going to go ahead and take our 12.13 millimeter socket and we're going to take the three hub bolts off the back here. There's one there, one there, and then one on the opposite side there. We'll go ahead and get those off and then our hub assembly should pull right out and we can swap these guys out. Now that we got all three of those bolts out, we are gonna go ahead and pull this off. Something I did do last time, I did put anti-seize on all my bolts and it definitely helped with disassembly. I'm gonna do that again. You did see I got some here on the axle nut as well. That definitely helps for taking this back apart, especially if you need to do a trail fix on the side of a trail. So let's go ahead and we'll see if this pops off and then we'll swap it out for our new one. And just like that, that one pulled off pretty easy. This one's been off a couple times when I was swapping axles and stuff, so that helps. If you do have a little trouble getting it off, go ahead and just get a dead blow and you can tap on it and it should come right off. All right, now that that old one is off, we can go ahead and throw on our new hub and we'll get this button back up. Pretty easy job. Okay guys, here's the new parts side by side with the old one. Looks like we've got the exact same part numbers on both these, so we did get the right part. So let's go ahead and we're gonna clean up that knuckle area and we'll go ahead and we'll throw in our new unit bearing. There's 
our shiny new hub. We went ahead and started those bolts in the back there. We got them in there. We did go ahead and put some anti-seize on there so they do come out again if we need to. So we're gonna go ahead and torque those three bolts to 75 foot-pounds. We can go ahead and get our brakes back on and then our axle nut. We'll torque this all up and we should be all set. We got that new hub on. We went ahead and torqued all three of those 13 millimeter 12 point bolts into the hub to 75 foot pounds. We did paint mark them. We'll need to pull that out to put our old sensor back in with that five millimeter Allen. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten these brakes all up and we should be all set. Okay, we went ahead and pulled that little plug out. We're gonna go ahead and put our sensor back in, our wheel speed sensor. We'll be real careful with this guy. Like I said, they're pretty fragile. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten down this five millimeter. The torque spec on this is really low. I think it's five foot pounds. It is plastic, so we're just gonna get snugged up. Once that's back on, we can put our heat shield back on for the brakes, and then we can get our rotor back on. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that we have the brakes back on, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to torque these big 21 millimeter bolts in the back here. There's gonna be two of them. Those get torqued to 148 foot pounds. Once that's all done, we'll go ahead and we'll have somebody hop back in the Jeep. We'll go ahead and torque this guy to 100 foot pounds, and then we should be all done. We'll throw that wheel back on and we'll see how she sounds. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for our new hub assembly install. We got that old one out. We got everything torqued down and paint marked, and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and throw the wheel back on. We should be all done. Got the wheel and tire back on. Let's go ahead and listen to how she sounds. She sounds a little better than before, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. That's gonna do it for the new hub assembly installed on the front axle. Turned out great. Does get rid of the noise that I was worried about, so that'll be good. We do have a big trip to Moab coming up for Easter Jeep Safari 2022. That is coming up just in a few weeks, so I'm glad we got that fixed. It was pretty easy, you guys could do this at home. I'll put all the links down below, you can check it out. Also, go ahead and check out our hats and our shirts on our merch channel. That helps out the channel as well. Guys, go ahead and like and subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you thought, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.